Back in the fall of last year, Ron O'Hanley, who's our CEO of State Street Global Advisors, was invited to speak at a corporate governance symposium. And that date of that event was March 7th, which as you know is a day before International Women's Day. And when we started to think about that opportunity, plus recognizing that over a year ago we had launched the SPIDER SSGA Diversity Index ETF, we had an opportunity to bring two events together, our asset stewardship and our promotion of gender equality on boards, and wanted to do something different to recognize the power of women in leadership, but also for the promise and the potential of the next generation of industry leaders, particularly in our industry of finance. Together we had come up with the idea of creating a bronze sculpture in the face of a young girl, our fearless girl, and what we could do in terms of putting her on the map for all the world to see. So that's how the origin of the idea was created. So from the idea in the fall of creating this statue of a fearless young girl and the actual day of March 8th, International Women's Day, there was not a lot of time in between to put this into action and clear any necessary approvals, obstacles, and logistics. From there, we were able to launch a search for the sculpture. Now, if you can imagine in greater New York area, looking for a female sculptor, which was critical given the cause here, wasn't exactly an easy feat. There's not a plethora of bronze sculptors that are female artists in the area. But thanks to a foundry in New Jersey, we were directed to Kristen Bisbal, who is our artist, who's skilled in lost wax sculpting. And she helped us in less than three months produce our 48 inch bronze statue, which probably would have taken most other artists a good six months to a year to create. It's exceeded our wildest dreams. We're really honored, humbled at the reaction, the support, the awareness that this has created for greater gender diversity and how that connects to better performance for companies, the aspiration and inspiration she represents for young girls and women, as well as men, about what tomorrow can bring and how we can change today. The support has been tremendous, so much so that New York City extended her time in the Bowling Green area for a full year which is 51 weeks longer than our original permit allowed.